get married now. It's a thing. You know about that, right? You've heard of that. That came through here, right? I, I, <laughs> came through here. I, I, I want to go on record. I wanted to say um, I'm not for it, okay? I am, I'm not for it. Like, to me, that is um, one of the main reasons why I signed up, okay? <laughs> Like when I signed up, I was told you can't get married, you can't get pregnant, you can't go to church, you can't join the army, and no one in your family will ever speak to you again. <laughs> you know, I saw the little part of like, I have to eat what? But I like, it's okay. <laughs> it seemed worth it. Like, I'm gonna go for it. And I feel like I have been living this contract that I signed for decades with the straight people, and now the liberals are just taking my rights away one by one. <laughs> it's nuts. I mean, I've kept up my end of the bargain. In fact, all lesbians, we have kept up our end of the bargain, okay? For decades. All your packages have arrived on time. <laughs> Broadway never misses a light cue. You know why that is. <laughs> right? I'm serious. And then everyone's cousin with a weird eye has someone to take to weddings, okay? I have done my part, all right? You know what, I want to go back, because I, I just want to call shenanigans on all the straight people, okay? Um, you guys want to hear a little story? I can make this a Picture this. It's a warm autumn afternoon in rural Ohio. A little college girl arrives at the gate of Kent State University. Guitar case in one hand, Indigo Girls songbook in the other. <laughs> She makes her way down the quad and she notices it's student orientation day. So it is at this moment where this girl is going to pick her identity, who she's gonna be for the next four years of her life. As she meanders around, she sees different sign-up tables, student government, eh, seems like too much work. <laughs> Take back the night rallies, I'm not really a joiner. I... But then she sees in the distance a banner, a lavender banner. <laughs> and she knows that she's home. <laughs> and do you know what that banner said in bright pink letters? It said, intramural softball. <laughs> <laughs> and as she made her way towards that banner in the distance, <laughs> A smell of patchouli wafting in the air, <laughs> intoxicating. She approached a table where a girl with a severely short haircut and sensible shoes <laughs> introduced herself simply as, I'm Sue. <laughs> and as Sue handed that girl a clipboard, and that girl sat down, she read, and it said very clearly in a highlighted section, if you agree to play intramural softball at Kent State University, you can't get married, you can't get pregnant, you can't go to church, you can't join the army, and no one in your family will ever speak to you again. So people, I call shenanigans on this whole thing. I mean, we can get married now. I mean, let's think back, okay? Because how cool was it for the past 20 years that every time your girlfriend rolled over and said, honey, don't you think it's about time we settle down? You could have looked her straight in the face and said, baby, there's nothing I'd like more in the world. But it's illegal, because that is what it's like. For 20 years, I my hat off, I'm a lay. I want to fluff my hair, one second. Okay, are we good? I think humidity, my hair looks so good at home, I'm so sad. No, seriously. Children now. We can adopt children now. There was this golden age of lesbianism where people wouldn't even let me near their children. <laughs> it was awesome. So I would be like at a cookout or something, and someone would like some mom would come up to me like, Oh Michelle, do you want to give Timmy his bottle? I'm a lesbian. George, take Timmy to the car. Take him. We got another thing we for is he okay? Did she hurt him? Is it, it that's what it was awesome stuff. I have to go to church now too. Church. That was crazy. I never had to do that because everybody at church was praying for me. See that? How we were all getting to sleep in? And then the praying for me. You get there. You get there. It's all right. It's tough stuff we're talking about. It's tough stuff. We're okay. And then the worst thing happened.
when that dirty Bill Clinton, with the don't ask, don't tell, I thought that was the greatest thing in the world. We repealed don't ask, don't tell because we thought it wasn't fair. Of course it wasn't fair, that was the best thing about it. It was like, what do you mean? You don't want me or Ian or Patrick or other Patrick to go with you? And Joey Bay Root boys, we're off to Cabo. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> girlfriends and boyfriends and partners and husbands and wives now and right. things, that's crazy. Do you know how many, how many blenders I saved buying? <laughs> Everyone was afraid of who I was gonna bring to the wedding, now when the invitation comes miss and miss, what the hell is that? It's crazy stuff. I don't know, get, getting married is, is just weird anyway. I mean, that's really, the only reason I probably would get married is just to get all my blender money back. That's probably what is motivating all us to fight with that. So pretty much either if it's gay marriage or straight marriage, it all comes down to a magic bullet. That's pretty much the thing. Is everybody okay? Is there a delay? Is there a delay?